Hello, I'm Adam and today we've got Ninebot F2 Pro scooter. There is its box, there is a scooter, there are some papers and there is a problem because the scooter is locked with a pin code. As you can see, it wants me to write uh, yeah, something and uh, if we fail, of course, it's locked. In this state, you are not able to connect uh, to Bluetooth and uh, generally everything is blocked. And uh, I've had two ideas. First one was to take the controller out and, the, and replace the BLE. And probably it could work. I'm not sure, but it was like uh, pretty hard and uh, it would take long to uh, BLE arrive. And uh, well, I took a chance to uh, try to hack it and uh, well I think I succeed let me put my Arduino and let's connect it and let's see the magic I know what's the pin because I said it before but just for showing purposes yeah the Arduino boots up and uh, yeah I can uh, tell you that uh, yeah now we can see one six Four and six. It's failed one because uh, two more. But yeah, whatever. Uh, in this video, uh, I will show you uh, my reverse engineering. Uh, what I learned. Uh, I won't uh, share uh, Arduino code with you because, yeah, that could be instruction for uh, someone who stole the scooter to unlock it. And uh, I believe if uh, you've got the scooter in any way and you are able to program it like I did, so it won't be any way problem for you to do, yeah, replace the dashboard or anything. Uh, yeah, so generally to, in this video I will just uh, talk about everything. And as we can see, <laughs> it uh, wrote uh, correct code. And now the Arduino is checking if uh, display is still turned on. So it didn't turn off with the uh, because of the fail code. And now on the LED, I'm showing the pin code uh, in the flash, in the flashes. So now uh, there will be one flash. So one, one, two, three, four, five six so one six one two three four five oh no four okay one two three four five six seven eight okay so the pin is uh i won't tell you right now because i will just write it there so it was one on the break to confirm one uh, six I hope four and eight. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, of course I can spin the wheel and ah, I was too slow, whatever, it works. Uh, yeah, so uh, what's going on there? Well, uh, it's a pure brute force method, so uh, I had to check every uh, digit, every pin. So as we know, we've got uh, about 10,000 uh, combinations and I had to try every one. And uh, I succeed with around this uh, pin code. And uh, now let's go to the desk and I will uh, give you a hardware overview. So the res results of my reverse engineering. Okay, so we are at the desk in pretty uncomfortable position. Uh, so first thing, uh, you don't have to cut the uh, display wire to extract the display from the uh, string. Uh, column because yeah I just did that yeah for no reason I will fix it later uh, at the beginning let's talk about connectors what we've got there so uh, the first thing is uh, white and uh, yellow this is uh, from the lamp uh, so we totally ignore it 
Next thing is uh, this one. It has black, yellow, uh, white and orange. And this is uh, this connector is uh, for those uh, buttons. And uh, how does it work? Uh, there is a black is a ground, uh, yellow is uh, a button I don't know right or left, white is another button right or left, so increasing or decreasing the value. Uh, orange is the horn button. And it simply works uh, for connecting, uh, for example, yellow button, uh, yellow wire to the ground wire, and uh, it's counted as uh, button press. Uh, if I check, I'm using a white one to increase, probably. Yeah, we'll uh, continue it later. But that's how it works like. Uh, next. We've got uh, we've got uh, black wire, uh, blue wire, and red wire. Uh, as we know from the color codes, black is ground, red is five volts, and blue is uh, what's blue? Blue is uh, uh, voltage uh, based on the brake lever lever. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, the rule is very simple. Uh, in the initial state, we've got 0 0.8 volt on this blue wire. So, in, on the initial, so we nothing pressed. If we press the uh, brake lever, we will get increased voltage on uh, blue wire. Uh, I assume max is around 3 something volts. Uh, so, uh, but of course, uh, not full press is required to active to confirm the in the written pin, and uh, I simulated uh, around 2.5 volt uh, inject. I will show later how to confirm that, and we can disconnect it because I talked about it. And uh, the last thing is the uh, acceleration uh, lever, the throttle. Uh, same uh, rules. So we've got red 5 volts, black is ground, and uh, green is uh, voltage. Exactly same rule how it works. Generally, uh, we don't need to touch it because yeah, we don't use a throttle to uh, insert the pin. So yeah. And uh, what next we've got there? Let me uh, get the display there. And as we can see, I had to solder uh, following pins. Uh, I soldered ground. I sold, uh, soldered uh, 5 volts, as you can see now. Oh, you won't see that, but whatever. First pin is uh, red, so the, there are 5 volts. Uh, last pin is ground, so it's black, as we can see. And uh, this pin is, let me count, yeah, it's white one. So I'm using the white uh, pin from this uh, plug and uh, shorting it to ground. Uh, and that means I'm increasing the pin value. And uh, this pin is blue, uh, which is, which is uh, for the brake value. Yeah. And now how it's connected. Uh, so let's start uh, with the first one, the five volts. It's very simple. I just only connected it to, to digital uh, input uh, from the Arduino Nano. And there is a 10 kilo ohm resistor uh, to ground to let the capacitors in dashboard uh, discharge faster. And that's how the rule uh, with checking works. So if I enter wrong pin, uh, display turns off and after a few seconds, like three or four, uh, the five volt uh, converter uh, goes off and five volts on this pin goes low. So after uh, writing a pin, I'm checking if uh, on this pin voltage dropped. If it's still there for, for example, 10 seconds, we found correct pin and uh, yeah, that's success. If not, we will try another pin. Yes, that's uh, the first thing. And uh, next, what we've got there. Of course, black is ground and yeah, it needs to be uh, common. Uh, 
And uh, now I will talk about a white uh, pin, so which is responsible for button uh, to ground. Uh, simply I've connected it to digital uh, pin of the Arduino and uh, I'm setting pin to low. That means it got connected to ground. Uh, yeah, so that, that was pretty simple. And uh, I'm not setting high after that because there was no, no high state after that. So yeah, that's it. And uh, last thing, which is pretty complicated, is the blue, blue wire, uh, which is tied to the brake uh, lever. And uh, I had to insert there about uh, two and half volts, over two volts, whatever. And how I'm doing that? Well, I'm doing that uh, with uh, pin three of Arduino. And yeah, those won't need to be sh uh, short circuited. I'm doing it from pin three. And uh, there is a simple voltage divider because there is a three kilo ohm resistor and there is three kilo ohm resistor, which gives me from five volts about 2.5 volts. And uh, that's uh, the voltage which goes to the uh, blue pin. So it uh, simulates that I press the lever. Yeah. And uh, last thing, uh, I had to turn on somehow scooter. Uh, turning on the scooter uh, works like uh, you press the button and uh, this pin got uh, connected to this pin. Uh, this pin uh, above is ground, so ground is connected to this pin. But it's not that easy like in previous example when I just put uh, low state in Arduino and it worked. Because on this pin you will get the vo battery voltage. So in my case I had about... 37 volts and <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't connect that to your Arduino, yeah? And uh, what I did, uh, well, well, uh, I used MOSFET uh, and uh, I'm using MOSFET to uh, connect this pin for, I don't know, half second to ground and it simulates pressing this button uh, for about half second. Uh, how I connected the MOSFET? Well, you can see that uh, I'm using uh, 200 ohm resistor, 220, from pin 4 to the first leg of the transistor. I'm using 10 kilo ohm resistor between the first and third leg of the transistor to discharge the uh, charge on the transistor if it's turned off. And uh, yeah, middle one is uh, connected to the pin that I'm shorting to ground. And of course, first uh, third leg is connected to ground. So I'm connecting middle leg to the third leg. That's how it works. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button. Bye.